Breaking Dawn comes out today. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Do I laugh? Do I cry? Do I freak out? Like, I don't know. There's, I just can't handle it. Like, today. Well, technically, tomorrow, but less than 24 hours, so I still count that as today. Plus, I usually don't go to bed till way after 12, so it's still, like, today for me anyway. So, anyways, oh my god. I can't handle this. I feel like I'm just gonna explode at any second. Oh, and like when I'm really nervous or excited or anything really, like I start one of my bad habits is I bite my cheek, like I kind of chew on it like this. Not hard or anything, but like, and it's bad. But like I've been doing it so much lately that I actually bit through the skin, and I have like a cut in there now, and it really sore. So that really sucks. Um, but whatever, breaking down coming out today, so that'll make up make up for it um oh my gosh but also breaking on is coming out today like it's here like oh my gosh like it's over today but i'm not going to be debbie downer i'm going to be good today i'm going to be excited optimistic everything like that because breaking on comes out today oh my gosh like holy yeah like, I feel like as soon as i get break like i feel like there's a part of me missing and as soon as i hold breaking dawn in my hand i'll be complete but then I feel like as soon as I read the last word on, like, the last page, I feel like a little part of me will die inside. And so I'll be complete for, like, a total of, like, however long it takes me to read the book. I'll probably be, like, four hours or whatever. I'll finish it definitely that night. Um, yeah. Like, because I'm a super fast reader, and it'll be, I'll read it like that. <laughs> but the thing is, I want to try to savor it. Like, I don't want to read it in one sitting, because... Like, this is the last one. There's nothing else to look forward to after it. Except for Midnight Sun. But whatever. Um, like, so do I read a chapter a day and just wait and wait? I know I, I say this, but I know I won't be able to do it. Because I have no willpower. And I'll just, like, <sighs> read it as soon as I can. And, like I said last week, that I had no willpower. Because I broke down and I read the spoiler. And if you have read the spoiler, don't worry. I'm not going to give anything away. But I will say that I was pretty disappointed. Um, sorry about this. <laughs> um, anyways, I sat, like, staring at the computer screen for, like, 25 minutes, like, debating with myself whether or not to read it, and then I finally broke down and read it, and there was, like, nothing. Like, I went through all that for nothing, really. It just pretty much confirmed what we already knew, so it was a bit of a letdown, but I'm happy because if it had been something big and it ruined the book for me, I would have just cried for, like, eight days or whatever, so that would have sucked. Um, but yeah, so, the question of the week, um, what are you doing on August 2nd? Um, well, for part of August 2nd, I will be at the bookstore. Um, if you're in Toronto, if you live in the GTA, um, I would come down to the one on, oh, what's the street? Uh, Bloor and Runnymede. That's it, that's the chapters I'll be at, so you should come down to that one and say hi. Um, so if you're going to be there, look out for me because I would like to meet you, say hi and everything. And um, also for the rest of August 2nd, I will be at home reading. Like I will be locking myself in the room and pulling an all-nighter. I've already bought Red Bulls and everything. So I have all these energy drinks, lots of caffeine to keep me going all through the night. And someone's phoning me. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, August 2nd. So yeah, I'm just going to be reading August 2nd. It's not very exciting. Um... Well, like, the midnight release party will be fun, but I still don't even know what I'm going to wear, and it's like, I have to go down there in a couple hours, so I'm kind of screwed in that area, like, what do I do? I think I'm just going to get, like, you know, those tattoos that came in the special edition New Moon. I think I'm going to put, like, them on my face, maybe, <laughs> but it might be a little embarrassing because I'm going out to dinner beforehand, so maybe not, but I think I might wear my Why So Stellan Edward Cullen t-shirt. Like, I don't, I wanted to go all out and, like, dress up, really, like, get into character, but it's kind of hard, because vampires look like normal people, and who would I even go as if I were to be a character? Like, I prob I would probably go as Bella, but, like, I don't look like Bella. <laughs> um, I don't look like Alice, could definitely not pull off Rosalie, like, who would I be? I guess, like, I could, my hair color is kind of strawberry blondish. I know it doesn't look like it in the videos, but for some reason, like, my camera, 
changes all the colors because the contrast is like too high or too low or something but like all the colors are totally different than they really are um so i guess i could be tanya but we haven't really met tanya so what would tanya wear like i have a bit of a predicament so yeah okay so this week we were given two questions to choose from and two challenges and instead of doing a question and a challenge i'm just going to answer two questions because i'm running out of time and I need to edit this video and get it up and everything and leave. So, um, yeah. So the second question is, what do you think of all the Comic Con stuff? And, um, um, you know, obviously the Twilight just went crazy. But what else can you expect? You know, they're in a room with Stephanie Meyer, Catherine Hardwick, Robert Pattinson, Chris Stewart, like everyone there. So, like that's what I expected of them. If I were there, I would have John Con just as crazy. Um, I am, you know, Twilighters are known to have, like, a really enthusiastic fan base anyway, so I was expecting on the last of us, um, but yeah, and also, the ballet, like, the extended ballet scene that they showed, I was really impressed with it, I really, really liked it, like, the other stuff they've shown, like, the teaser trailers and stuff like that, um, they were good, but they weren't, like, amazing, um, if I had never heard of Twilight before and I saw those clips, I would have been, like, that looks like a good movie, you know, but then I maybe wouldn't, like, go see opening day or anything like that, but if they had showed me, like, the ballet scene and I never heard of Twilight, I'd be like, oh, that movie looks amazing, like, I love that ballet scene clip, and I'm very happy, and it gives me a little bit more hope for the movie, so I really liked it, um, okay, guys, I think that's all I can say for today, because I feel like I just need to go cry somewhere off screen, <laughs> um, Hopefully, maybe I'll see some of you guys tonight. Maybe not. Um, but everybody, enjoy reading Breaking Dawn. Sadly, I'm going to be the last person to report on it. Sucks, I know. But um, anyways, yeah, I hope I hope it doesn't let us down. Um, I'm sure it won't. Stephanie never does. Um, and for those people who don't get it to the 4th, till the 4th, I'm really sorry for you guys, and I would recommend you stay off the computer from the 2nd to the 4th, because you don't want it to spoil it, you don't want to spoil it for you, so just stay away from anything Twilight related for this, those couple days, um, and I'll see you guys next week, <sighs> okay.